Yeah, so um, so his physician he treats his royal relatives and became a close of Gojong, the king of Korea. And Gojong founded the first Western hospital at his suggestion. One day, Alan and his friends were playing tennis and sweating. Gojong didn't know it was a sport. Seeing that Alan and his friends were sweating, he said, Why are you? Why are they working and sweating themselves instead of making their servants do the work? I'm sure it must be a funny culture shock for Dr. Lin. Then what should be different and distinctive about believers? How can people of faith can seen by the world as a stranger and foreigners and travelers? That is exactly that what uh, the Apostle Paul showed us in Malta, and that is how our Jesus lived on earth as a stranger and foreigner and traveler in this world. Everyone right here in this church should also be a stranger in this world in a couple of ways. First, we are stranger in this world when we live a life different from the expectation of the world. It was a practical expectation and common sense for the people of Malta that if you are beaten by a snake, viper, you die. And it is also their judgment that since Paul was beaten by a snake after he had or, or barely survived the storm, he must be getting punished by the God for committing a serious crime like murder. However, something happened that went beyond their expectation and judgment. As I meditate on the words of verse 6, I could not help but feel my heart beating fast. Let's read verse 6 together. The people expect him to swell up or suddenly fall dead. But after waiting for a long time and seeing nothing unusual happen to him, they changed their minds and they said, and, and said he was God. But just that people more to expect Paul to swell up and suddenly pull dead. Satan is behind the sins in the world expecting us to fall when we faced with the difficulties and hardship, when we are tempted, when we have a conflict, or when we have problems and headaches. Satan and his fellows are waiting what their expectation think. You will fall down soon. Your home will be broken. Your life will be ruined. You fall into despair and depression. You fail and become a loser. You even lose your faith. Lose, lose your faith. If we let Satan and the world say, See, I thought so. We are becoming the same as the world. Instead, we have to make them respond. How could this be? Or how is this possible? After seeing that the things they expected didn't happen, they see we are not collapsing. Collapsing, They are not falling into despair or depression. We may fall down, but we get right back up. We fail, but we learn from it and don't give up. Don't, we don't give in to corruption. We don't ruin our lives. When the people of the world see us behave the opposite of their expectations, what starts to happen is called meta balomenoi, which means they are changing their mind. Their point of view towards us changes. They realize, oh, this person is different from us. This is exactly how people felt when they saw Jesus Christ. Also, it wasn't everyone in the world who did not believe in him. Everyone must agree that he is different from them and that he is not of this world. What a saying when the people of Malta watched Paul, Meta Bolo May Noi, as they change their minds, they say, oh, he is a God. They notice that Paul was different from them, that he seemed connected to some realm, realm 
beyond their human limitations. So then, then the world will look at us believers who have Jesus Christ as our Lord in this age, the world must say, confess the same things, change their minds. As people see our action, the decision we made in our lives, and how we think, they see that we are different from the world's expectation and judgment. The world should say we are different from them. Our actions should be different. Our response should be different. Our thinking should be different. Our decisions should be different. And our serving should be different. You may think that I am talking about miracles. Do not think that if such miracles happen, the world would look at us and change their minds. Jesus worked so many miracles in the Bible, but how did the Jews react? Instead of accepting him as the Son of God, they killed him. That's right. What is important is our message, not miracles. What I am focusing on here is not the miraculous story of Paul being beaten by the viper and not dying, although, of course, with the Lord's presence, such miracles could happen. The people of Malta thought if they picked up serpents, if they pick up serpents and drinks, drink any, anything poisonous, it will not, it, it will not hurt them. But what is even more noteworthy is Paul's reaction. Even though he had, he had been beaten by the viper, he just shook it off into the fire, showed no emotion, but stayed calm. He seems different to his injury by the viper. Before he experienced this miracle, Paul was already responding differently than the people of the island and of the world. Second, we are strangers in this world when we take up challenges beyond the limits of the world things. When Pavlos, the chief officer of Malta, invited Paul and his companions to stay at his house for three days, Paul saw that Pavlos' father was sick with fever and dysentery, and he prayed for him, placed his hands on him him and healed him. Watching Paul take up the challenge beyond the limits of people think with a prayer. Pablo's this is the people in his house came to know that Paul was different from them. Paul relied on God, took up or challenges and didn't shy away. Because his source of power is different, because his worldview and perspective are different. Because he cared about Pablo's and his family. The illness could not be cured with his own strength, but it's, it's, it is nothing to Almighty God. What is beyond the limitation to the people of the world became an opportunity for people of faith to rely on God and tap into His power. And when we give our heart to God, rely on His strength and His power, the world cannot help but think that we are different from them. In the end, it is being with the Lord, abiding in the Lord every day is the only way that leads to power of God beyond the limits of the world. Not only supernatural work, but also for the, all the story of life to be filled with the love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, gentleness, self-control, and full of the power of the Holy Spirit. Brothers and sisters, I sincerely pray and hope that we will be able to live like this in this year, 2022. This is what the man of God who stands firm in the middle of the war is like. The Bible doesn't tell us if Pablos believed or not. But according to Christian history, Pablos became a Christian and became a first bishop of a mortar Following his conversion, he was transferred to Athens and became one of the first bishops of Athens. And he was martyred. 
125 during the persecution of Emperor Hadrian. Even as Prabhupada was converted by Paul as a great man of God who lived as strangers to foreigners in the world, he also lived as strangers to foreigners to the world, became a great man of God whom the world could not be overcome. I would describe a man of God in the world like this. A man of God who stands from in the midst, middle of the world as a stranger, foreigner, and traveler. We have uh, no choice but to be different from the world. However, I pray hope that we are seen different because of the mysterious inner strength and peace that we have because we are connected with the Lord who has a transcendent world. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for 